You understand when you're five that the value of something, a box, for example, when you're five, a refrigerator box, to be a very explicit example, the value of a refrigerator box is simultaneously the thing that the refrigerator came in, but it's also the fort, it's the house, it's the car, it's the spaceship, it's the ability to take that thing and actually using your creative impulses, turn it into what your parents never bought you. You, know, you didn't get a playhouse, but you got a refrigerator box. When you're five, you can still see the opportunities, the optionality of innovation. Unfortunately, when we get to 15, 16, 18, 20, we understand that now it's a box. So we remove ourselves from the ability to actually see the value in that creative value added option. And, and so in many respects, it's the 10 year olds that understand this. It's the five year olds that understand this. It's the parents who always frustrate themselves over the fact that Christmas or Hanukkah or any gift is more interesting in its packaging than the gift sometimes. And every parent kind of responds to the, why are they playing with the boxes and the paper, but they're not playing with the thing that the batteries go in? It's because they still understand that the intangible value is far more valuable than the technical remote controlled thing that, that was in that box. And so that's what we do. We, we actually actually rediscover that 10 year old, that five year old impulse see the intangibles and understand that that's where the value is and that's where the optionality is. That's where the engagement is. You don't engage with a technology. You don't engage with a physical thing. You engage with the utility that that brings you.